Hello everybody and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Now where we last left off, we fell asleep on a mattress outside because we're not doing so good at this whole living thing. And now I believe we're dreaming, I'm gonna assume? I don't know. I can't activate the pause menu, so I don't know what's going on. We got a typewriter. The game just like froze up, I guess. What? Oh, uh, don't you tell me. Oh, I think the game, oh. Oh, looks like someone left some money for me. I doubt it was for you. All right, well, that was weird. Didn't let me do anything for a while. All right. Big booty, is that you? I'm out on the balcony. <gasps> oh my god. It's you. Well, look. Who's on an early rise of this morning? Are you okay? Did you sleep all right? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I'd sleep better if you didn't make so much noise while you're getting ready. Aw, oh, grumpy pants. I'm sorry. It's not even that early, though. Most people in the world get up before noon. You know, so they can go to work. Ugh, don't start on me already. Your mom already gave me an earful last night. Oh, relax, big booty. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Mom's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon, don't stress out. Right, and once it does, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown, start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. I know, me too. What else can we do, though? Just relax, take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. Aw, you're right, I'm ready for this. Everything's gonna work out just fine. One day we'll look back on this and laugh. That's the spirit. Now, give me a kiss before you get coffee breath. Aw, there's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. I love you too. Aw, boot biggie. I missed you. I'm not doing so well though in Dubstown, <laughs> sadly. You shouldn't have left. Oh, what's in here? Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Let's head downstairs and get us some coffee breath. Even though, once again, I still don't drink coffee, but whatever. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, big booty. Do you know what happens to the sausages I left in here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Uh, no idea. I ate them. Your kid ate them. Didn't you eat them? Uh, didn't you eat them? Wait, didn't you eat them already? No, I didn't eat them. I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? It's a military base, big booty. I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Once we figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings at the polls are so strange lately, I'll be home in no time. Do me a favor and help out, Boot Biggie. I don't want to throw out... Uh, I don't want to thaw out in a messy house. Are you sure you're up for Antarctica? You're not young anymore. It's dangerous. Boot Biggie will, uh, will miss you. I'll miss you. It's dangerous. It's really dangerous out there. Ah, don't be such a ninny. I faced a lot worse than bitter winds in my time. You just keep your head in that book of yours. I really hope that contract you've been waiting on will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, big booty. Alrighty. Ooh, biggie, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? <laughs> I'm in the bathroom, hold on a sec. I gotta go, Boo Biggie! They're waiting on me! Be good, I love ya! Those hip shakes, though. Mom? Wait, I'm here! She left without saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, now I see why we leave ya. Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, Boo Biggie. Your mom's one tough lady. She'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh well, I gotta go get to work before I'm late. You be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you. Love you too. Mm. <laughs> Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. If this is a dream, don't wake me up. I don't feel like eating right now. What? Alright, well the contract didn't come in, but I'm gonna call you anyways just cause we're that cutesy couple. I can't think of a reason to call anyone, right? Okay, I guess we're not. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we're not that cutesy couple. <laughs> oh, hey! Must be the contract. 
Hold on, I'm just gonna check the house real quick, though. I see a fish tank over here, and I wanna fuck with him. I wonder if my contract showed up in today's mail. That's all she's saying. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Hey, I see a video game over here. I'll play games later. Right now, I need to go check. Okay, fine. That's all you're gonna say. Let's go check the mail. I'm sure you definitely got it. Hmm, what do we have here? Pizza Lamore's San Bruno's Finest. 20% off, all pickup orders. The best deal in town. It's the contract! I did it. Hmm, San Verdano Pizza. Hmm, this is it? Oh, hey, look at that. That's it. That's an envelope. Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here. Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explained. It's just that we're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole, peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand, Big Booty. Sam's your partner, but the facts are, the, the guy upstairs only like your pieces. Times are getting tough, too. You know, business ain't what it used to be. They just don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. What? Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we sent it, always will. We'll find you for the next six months. Uh, find you for the next six months so you can finish what you started. Then we go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great, then take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once those papers are signed. Then I get the wife off my back and we can go for a celebratory drink. I'm buying. That sounds... Great. All right. Swell. I'm going to say great. Perfect. I'm, I don't want to seem too desperate for a free drink. All right. I'll wait for your call. Speak with you soon, Bib Booty. I know I could take an artist serious named Bib Booty. This is everything I ever wanted, right? No. You want your... You want... You want Boot Biggie. What should I do? Think about it. Sign. Think about it. I'm not ready to sign yet. I need to think about it some more. Don't make a mistake. Call him up. Who should I call? Boot Biggie. We're gonna make this relationship work. So it came. You're kidding me, right? Finally. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. What's the matter? You don't sound excited. Did they change the payments or something? Not exactly. The deal's still fine. They just don't want to bring Sam into the picture. Like, at all. Oh, Sam's the one. I was thinking it was Boot Biggie. This is still great news. Sure, you don't get everything you want, but this is it. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? So you'll have to do it without Sam. Big deal. Why can't you just take a minute and realize what an achievement this is? It's just a start. It's nothing yet. You're right. It's just a start, babe. Nothing even happened yet. All I've got is some paper. It's not even signed yet, so there's really nothing to get excited about. Wait, you didn't sign it immediately? No, I wanted to get your opinion on the whole thing first. I wouldn't hesitate, honestly. This is going to be so good for you. This is going to be so good for us. What about Sam? I don't know who Casey is. What about Sam? What about Sam? Not everything is meant for everybody. You don't have any responsibility here. Save for yourself. It's your choice, though. Whatever you want to do, I support you. I know, I know. I love you, too. All right, I'm going to leave you to figure it out. I've got to get back to it if I'm ever going to get out of here. Don't wait up for me tonight, all right? Oh, he's cheating. We'll find time to uh, find some time to talk after you've made a decision. <laughs> All right, have fun at work. Yeah, not likely. <laughs> Who should I call? Let's call Sam since he's the one that's apparently in jeopardy. There we go. What? I'm sorry, we cannot complete your call. The macro shaft mobile customer you're trying to reach has run out of available credit on their account. Please hang up and try again later. Oh, he's falling on hard times too. It figures. I don't know what to do. It's decision making time. What should I do? Think about it, sign it. I think that's the only options I have anyways. I think I can only either think about it or sign it. I think no matter what, I have to sign it. Let's just call Larry. Just, uh, get one last opinion of his. Larry Hunter's office. Larry, I've been giving the contract some more thought. I want you on my team, Big Booty. Please be on my team, Big Booty. <laughs> well, I just wanted some clarification on something. Would you mind going over this again with me? No, don't. No, don't go. Over. No, can you tell me more about... No, 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 no. None of it. None of it. I don't need any of it. 
Because people in a contract says you sign the papers, we give you the money, you've got to deliver the book, hence deliverables. Yeah, I get that, but why is section like 12 paragraphs long? Ah, don't sweat it, it's just red tape mumbo jumbo. We've got to include in the paperwork our, or our asses are on the line. The, those sections about creative control and approvals, don't worry about them. You deliver a full length manuscript, that's half as good as the sample I pass through and you'll no problem passing any review. Internal or critical? Well, if you say so. Anything else you want to talk about? Nope, that's it. All right, well, sign your call whenever you're ready. No rush, right? Okay. So I think no matter what, because this is obviously like some sort of flashback to how things happen, no matter what, I'm assuming I got to sign that contract. Can I play some video games instead? Oh, I can watch, I can watch a movie. A V-Box home video game system. I guess this could pass some time. Yeah, let's play some games. Matt. <laughs> Mega Rasmus. Alright. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Why is the game like freezing up so much? Here we go. Oh shit. Oh. Ah, crap. <laughs> this game. <laughs> What if I even no, get anything no. for this? Stop guarding up the Ah, <sighs> These controls are stiff. Oh well, I'm blaming it on the controls. It's definitely not me. No, let's not play again. Let's see what we got for a movie though. No, watch it. Yes. For better or worse, moments for marrying her one true love. A young bride to be diagnosed with terminal cancer. As she puts on a brave face and marches down the aisle in front of her friends and family, she bears a uh, heavy secret she dare not tell a soul. Oh, she's a man? Recommended for me. This one's not. A world-renowned author may wakes up one day to realize his entire life had been an extensive hallucination without knowledge of who he is. The man sets out to recreate the dream life he had experienced by rewriting the novel he imagined during the delusion. Man, sounds very foreshadowing. After a theor uh, theoretical uh, physicist breaks up with his longtime girlfriend, he creates a contraption that will allow him to travel into a parallel dimension in which they are still together. The only problem is that to have her, he must kill the alternate reality version of himself. Here we go, Captain Equality. <laughs> An unstoppable intergalactic warrior travels the universe, stomping out alien civilization while spreading a mass message of acceptance. Armed to the teeth with tolerance and compassion, this mechanized space gladiator fears nothing as she wages war against in inequality. All right, well, I think I know which one I'm watching. What? Okay. Um, okay. No, okay. So what, none of them are going to be available? Okay. All right. It's getting late. Go to sleep. Waste time. Didn't we do this already? Oh, what? Do I got to do it all over again? My trusty typewriter. Okay, so... Wait, you never came home? Oh, he cheating. All right, let's just go sign that contract, which I'm assuming is what we inevitably have to be doing. Sign the contract. I need this deal. This is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. What a bitch. Hey, I'm alive. Day two. Whoa, that dream felt so real. Ugh, far from reality, though. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm going to start writing in my journal again. You completed a journal page. Oh, what does the journal page say? Completed page. My completed journal page. Oh, okay. At least maybe the mail's here. 
Oh, this douche again. Look, guys. Whoa, deadbeat. You look even more like shit than normal. <laughs> what an asshole. Did that curbside nap teach you to pay your bills yet? I'm just here to get my mail and the stuff out of my apartment, and then I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, right. You still owe me for last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold onto those ratty old clothes and the appliances for a while. I know a guy who's willing to pay top dollar for all those panty panties you never get got around to washing. Oh, shit. Ugh, that's too gross. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you. Oh, who am I kidding? A deadbeat like you paying rent? Don't make me laugh. Oh yeah, before I forget, when I was in there cleaning the place up for showings, I came across something I think you probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind you of the days before your life turned to absolute shit. <laughs> Good luck, deadbeat! <laughs> I'm not going to miss that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Well, let's see what's in the mail today. A wedding invitation? We're getting married. Join us at Historic Faith Chapel for a night of celebration as we join hands in the holy matrimony and say our vows. What the fuck is this, Boo Biggie? You're without me not even a year and you've already moved on? More than that, you're getting married? It's all at, it, it's at the end of the month? Jesus Christ, Boo, Boo Biggie. No, I can't get angry. I can't get upset. We broke up. He can do whatever he wants. Why the hell would you invite me, though? <laughs> right, though? To San Verdano, no less. I love the place, but goddamn, that's cold. It's not just a pizza joint. They're getting married at a pizza place. <laughs> what? Are you testing me? What do you want? Well, at least my check's finally here. I could do some of the extra cash right about now. You opened the letter from Larry. You received your publisher's check. Oh, let me guess. Not that much. $250. What the hell, Larry? This thing was supposed to be thousands. Something's gone really, really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. Copy down Larry's phone number. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I'll be able to get to him in time before the wedding. Okay. Well, you guys have heard it here. Let's get to that phone. Let's just give Larry a call. Hello, hello. Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the fuck happened? Hey, Bib Booty. I've been expecting your call. $250? Who the hell can live off that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know what that contract you signed for us uh, said we would pay you so long as you produced us a book? That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if it, the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Like, that dog just walks in front of me. Just give me another week. We did that, like, 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a pet bad pick. I made a mistake, and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in a fucking alleyway last night, Larry. Shit, I'm sorry to hear that, Big Booty. You understand th this is a business, though, right? We don't just hand out money to every uh, as aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now, Big Booty. There's nothing left for you. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get San Verdano. San Verdano? What the hell are you going to do all the way across the country? Boot Biggie's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss him, huh? Alright, fine. I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for good romantic story. But you've got to make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Verdano, and I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours, the one you write in every night before you go to bed? At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something that we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her shit if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. 
I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great, then we've got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it, do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over at the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers, and we go way back, so any recommendation I give is golden. High rung ad agency used to do our marketing, but I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up uh, both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days. Oh. All right, guys. So you heard it right there. We're going to be trying to do some odd jobs over there. We can get to this new town where we can meet up with Larry, and then we can do some more odd jobs for him. Not sure exactly what those odd jobs are, but we're going to be finding out in the next playthrough. So, as always, if you guys are enjoying the videos, please like it. I appreciate the support. Comment some suggestions down on the bottom for any games you guys like to see me play in the future. And as always, subscribing is a great way to uh, motivate me to post these videos more regularly. And have a great day. Goodbye!